All right, guys, so just to start off, I wanted to put a little disclaimer out there. This isn't actually related to my internship. Um, it's more related to the whole pre-med thing. So um, I thought it would be important to throw it in just because I was really excited because my MPrep, MCAT prep book arrived today. Um, it wasn't supposed to arrive until Saturday, and it arrived today. It's Wednesday. I was really happy about that. Um, I ended up purchasing this from Walmart because it was the cheapest I could find it online. Um, it's the um, 2015 MCAT subject review. It's a complete set, so as you can see, there's six books here, and it's huge, so <laughs> there's a lot of content here. Um, but like I said, I bought it for about $100 from Walmart. I think the market value is $200, yeah, $200. Um, and I was going back and forth between ordering this one and ordering the seven subject Kaplan review, um, which the cheapest that I could find that one online for was about 150, um, and it was about 260 in like an actual bookstore. So um, I'm really glad that I went with this one. And on top of that, um, this one was just ranked higher in reviews because it is cheaper. The content is all about the same, although I think Princeton Review sometimes has a reputation for having more challenging questions. So I thought it would be good to prepare me. The MCAT. Um, but yeah, generally I really like it so far. I like the way that it's laid out. Um, when I studied for like the ACT and all my APs in high school, I did use Kaplan um, and I liked Kaplan, but I just didn't want to spend the extra money um, on a book when this one got, has a high ranking or about the same content. So um, yeah, that's really nice. I took a look at the Orgo book earlier um, and I really just read the introduction that sort of told you what to expect, um, what you should read in the passages, what you should omit from, um, you know, looking through the passages before you answer the questions. Um, I think I'll probably pull out one of these books and give you one of the example questions just so you can get an idea of um, what to expect, maybe just from the Princeton Review or just from the MCAT in general. In terms of my long-term plan for studying for the MCAT, um, obviously I purchased this book so I can look over stuff this summer. Um, and then also look over it in the fall and in the spring um, when I'm taking classes. So I uh, haven't taken some of the classes that these books are for. So I haven't taken biochem and I also haven't taken the second installment of physics, which I'm taking next semester. Um, and that actually puts me ahead of a lot of my other um, biology major peers, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll have a while to review that content rather than just learning this semester um, right before my exam. Um, especially because physics isn't my forte. Um, and also I'm taking biochem right before the exam, which I figured it'd be good because um, it would be a bit of a memory jogger for organic chemistry because there's a lot of organic chemistry involved in biochem. Um, but yeah, so studying the book. And then the spring semester of 2016, I will be taking my prep class. Um, and as some of you know, the prep class may be pretty expensive. Um, I think it can be a couple thousand dollars. Um, which is a lot. I mean, it's not it's not that much compared to um, the cost of med school or the cost of applying to med schools because I think the average amount of med schools that people apply to is like 17, which just blows my mind. It's so much money. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan. Um, I would hate to take my class this summer. Someone actually recommended that, um, but I was afraid that A, I would spend a lot of money and then B, forget that content and then the exam would roll around um you know a year from now and i'd be like oh crap i don't remember any of that so um i definitely think this is the best way to go at least for me all right so now the part that i know you guys have all been waiting for um here's the question it's from the organic chemistry book um i just went with this one because i read the answer earlier um and i really like the explanation um so here's the question. Which of the following acetylating conditions will convert diethylamine into an amide at the fastest rate? So there's A, which is acetic acid and hydrochloric acid, B, which is acetic anhydride, C, which is acetyl chloride, and D, which is ethyl acetate. Um, basically, I'm going to try to summarize the paragraph that they have underneath this answer explaining why the answer is C. Um, which is acetyl chloride. So it says that the first step is to know that converting an amine to amide is a nucleophilic additional elimination reaction um, and that the amine is going to be working as a nucleophile, meaning that you need to find the best electrophile to react with your nucleophile. So off the bat, you know, based on the strength of the reactivity of your um, carboxylic acid derivatives, 
that anhydride and um, your ethyl acetate are weaker than your acetyl chloride, so those are definitely out. Um, so that leaves you with your acetic acid and hydrochloric acid um, and your acetyl chloride. And the problem with the acetic acid and hydrochloric acid would be that it would protonate your amine um, and that would make it so that it's no longer a nucleophile. So the best answer is C, acetyl chloride. Um, so I didn't do a very good job of summarizing that, um, but they do a pretty good job of explaining the answer. Um, and it's pretty brief, like I said, it's a paragraph, um, it's about that long. And I would say that it's pretty to the point, but it gives you the information that you need to know. And if there's something you don't really remember, you can always go back and review it. Um, but of the few questions that I've gone over so far, the explanations are pretty good. Um, and I do really like this so far. So um, at this point, I would definitely recommend the Princeton Review. Um, my opinion might change th throughout the summer after I go through some more books, um, but I'll let you know if it does. Um, but so far, I do really like it.